So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own personal assistant AI agent. So let's dive right in. So first of all, let's test it so I can show you what it can do. Hey Robin, how can I help you today? Please add a calendar reminder for tomorrow, 10 o'clock, that I have to email Robin. So this is going to Now you see that it added the email reminder for tomorrow 10 o'clock. So now try something else. Hey Robin, how can I help you today? Please draft a email to Robin with subject line follow up and in the content, hey, I'm just following up about our proposal we've sent last week. So let's see. It will take some time. And there it is. Hey, I'm just following up on our proposal we sent last week. So now we're going to go a little bit more in depth about this agent. So basically it's four different agents. You have the main agent right here, the email agent, the calendar agent, and the contact agent. Um, so we're going to go in depth on all those four uh, individually so let's start with the first part which is the webhook of 11 labs so basically we use 11 labs conversational AI to talk to so let's go to agents and what you basically do is that you add a new agent here and what will happen is that you go into this tab and what you can do here is you can add the language of the agent but you also can have the first message here and here is the prompt we are using to learn the AI agent on what to do so this will also be involved in the files below so you can just copy it from there um, a good thing to know is that you have a temperature um, so what you want to do is if you want to be extremely creative or random with your AI agent you can do put it on one if you want to have a more consistent then you can put it a little bit down so I'm normally setting it at around six so the next thing you have to do is you have to add the webhook so we can implement it to n8n so basically you configure a webhook and what you do is that you name it then you have a little bit of a description and you post the url from the webhook in n8n so if you go to the first part of the ai agent you will see that i'm using a webhook as a trigger that trigger has a URL, which is this. Then you have the HTTP method, which is post. The path is N8N, and this uh, you can leave on none. And respond is using respond to webhook node. So this URL, you're gonna copy it, and you can add it within your 11 labs agent. Then you're gonna scroll down, and then you have a body parameter to define uh, the thing to send to N8N. So basically we're using a query identifier in our N8N workflow um, with as a description the request made by the user and also add a description here. So then you add save and basically that is the way that the webhook communicates with the AI of 11 labs. You can also add the voice. So I've chosen Jessica, but you also can add another voice um, and these all these settings I will leave default. So now you've set up your conversion, conversational agent, uh, we're going to the next step, which is the personal assistant itself, which is going to hand over the task to the other agents. So basically this is a tools agent. Um, the text we have entered there, I'm going to show you in the last example we've shown you. Um, let's close this one, make it a little bit bigger. So basically what's going to happen is, is that when you add the webhook over here, so you're going, going to talk, this is the query we uh, added in the test phase. So draft an email to Robin with topic line follow up, uh, etc. What it's going to do that based of that information we have here, which, we, which is put through the webhook, we're going to add the body query, so the body of the text, so this to 
uh, the agent that says, all right, use this information um, to do the task. So, and then when we go to the editor, we ask with that information, do the task, which is this. You are ultimate personal assistant. Your job is to send the user's query to the correct tool. You should never be written emails or create, create an even summary. You just need to call the correct tool. So we giving them guidelines what to do. Um, so also this prompt will be at the file section. So you can just download it and go from there. Um, so what is happening then is that based on the query, this tool is going to hand over tasks to the different agents. So I added a 4.0 ChatGPT model to it. So you basically need to add your OpenAI API credentials to N8N and then say, all right, use GPT 4.0, which is the best one to do this kind of tasks. I also add a simple memory. So everything we do will be reminded so you can learn from it. Um, and then we can go over to the next um, agents. Let's go to the email agent. So basically, this is also a tools agent where I say, all right, with the information you get from the another workflow. So for example, in this one, drafting the email, this is the query, draft an email to Robin at Robin Payne with the subject, follow up and the content. So this is the task that the other PA agent gave to this agent. And this agent then chooses the right tool to add the draft. So basically also this has a prompt where you can go over what it does. So also this will be in the notes and then you have all the different tools to do one job. So basically you can add your Gmail, um, Google console or Google um, API to it and then add the different tasks is need to do. So email replies and send automatically email reply. And then you have the message ID, which is pushed through. Um, and for the example, it uses this one where it takes the subject line, which is in the task and it takes the message and then craft a draft. So this is the email agent with all the different tasks underneath it. So the next one is the contact agent because you need to have a database of contact information where the agent needs to pull out the uh, information from. So if you go to the test we did previously, we can see that there was a task, get Robin's email address. So what it does, it goes to a Google Sheet where my name and email address is in and it finds the Google Sheet and then it pushed it back to the AI agent. So also here we have a tools agent where we say, all right, the query. So what we got pushed, the task we got pushed through with the, with the, the main agent, do this. So you are a contact management assistant, your responsibility to include looking up context, etc. Also, this prompt will be uh, within the files uh, if you import it into N8N. And what it does then is check the Google Sheet. And you can also use an Airtable or another database for it, example, your CRM. Um, you add Google and you add the list, so the, the Google Sheet name in it, and then it will find the contact information and push it back to the main agent. All right, right now we have the calendar agent, which basically is a little bit the same of the, uh, as the email agent. So again, it will get a task and then we have a prompt from this agent what to do. And then we have a Google API here. Um, so you can also add your calendar and he knows exactly what to do. Also here we have a ChatGPT OpenAI model in it. So it has the right brains, so to say. So basically the information is coming also in from the main agent and then what you will see at a reminder for tomorrow 10 a.m. to email Robin. Uh, so this is the query, which is here. And then this is the prompt it needs to be. And then the output is I've added a reminder to email Robin. Um, so it will get the right event. The information is here. Event start, event end, event title. So you add all the different variables to the node um, and then it will 
automatically add the calendar event into your calendar. So when it's all done, so there is an output, then you have a response webhook back. So what you basically say is that you respond back to the webhook you already did here. And that is the, that is the cue for the AI agent to say to me, all right, it's done, we've got it, and let's move on. So I've been using this AI agent for two weeks now, and it needs a little bit more fine tuning to write emails, but the calendar um, function is really good because if I'm in the car, I only have to call the agent and say, all right, remind me of this or add a task uh, to my calendar for this. And that is very helpful and very easy to manage. So if you have any questions, please let me know. For now, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.